hey how are you doing i'm hoping that you are doing well welcome back to my channel you are the ones who should be telling me welcome back because it has been two weeks of not posting anyway welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video and i i plan i plan on being consistent from now <laughs> No, henceforth, I know I haven't been consistent, but I am working on my consistency. Anyway, you guys, I know you have already read the title of this video, and it's about cooking pots. Yay! <laughs> I got me cooking pots. I am excited. I hope you can tell the excitement from my face. Anyway, this is what I have been using to cook. Actually, this has been my Ugali cooking pot, this one. And as you can see, it has peeled, but I really wouldn't complain about these pots. They have served us for a long time, maybe short for you, but I consider it long enough. We got this in 2018, so it's time to bid them goodbye. And I got one for Ugali because I'm not ready. I'm not ready to overwork my new cooking pots, you guys. They are too beautiful for that for gali <laughs> so i got this one this one i got it in our local supermarket i need to get one more for tea and i have been loving i have been loving using this one for gali i'm not making ugali in non-stick superiors anymore anyway i can't wait to throw this away <laughs> you guys have been telling me that it's unhealthy to cook in these superiors because of how they look so i i think i should just show you my new cooking pot i wanted to buy my pot from a shop that came highly recommended Rebesha essentials you guys so i got my pot from Rebesha essentials and they are beautiful they are beautiful you guys will see the reason as to why i don't want to make ugali <laughs> they are too beautiful for ugali anyway let me show you those pots so guys, this is it. This is what I got. I got Eden bag and they are white in color. They have marble coating, easy grip handles and they have strong glass lids and I want to do the unboxing with you. This is what is in the box. This three, this five superiors. There are five, right? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and these placements and the moment of truth <laughs> so this is it i love the packaging you guys it's very hard for this to break even the lids and they were delivered to me via wells fargo and they were intact as you can see you guys look at that i know my ring light is showing because i'm shooting this at night look at that i love it i love it i love and it's quite heavy actually the lid is quite heavy and i love that they are attached for you these ones because i i see most of these sufrias come and you have to assemble them but these ones these ones you don't have to do any assembling this one is giving class <laughs> anyway you guys so that is that uh what is this this one should be a manual what is oh this one is one of the placements so one of the placements and then oh this is just a paper nothing much you guys i haven't even unboxed these pots i'm doing it with you because you are that special this is the second placement and then ah i love this you guys I, I wanted to get pots that are not too big. Most of these non-stick pots, some of them are too big. If you have a small family like mine, because it's just me and hubby, you might end up just using one of them, but you will see with this one, but I love it. Look at this. Ah, this one is a small size. Perfect, perfect. I think I will be using this for rice, and I love this. So this is the first one. And this is its lid. This is its lid. No, this one is not its lid. This one is small. <laughs> and then we will find the lid here. There yeah, is this one. You guys, do you see the packaging? Like, there is no way this one can break. It's well covered and protected. So, this is the third lid. That one is for a bigger sphere. 
<laughs> and the saucepan i love this i love this you guys comes with a saucepan eden bag decorate your kitchen <laughs> no kidding these spots are beautiful so that tag suits it so that is that that is that there is another lid and i'm hoping that you guys can see me clearly and then this is the largest of them all but then, why was i counting five these are not five <laughs> i lied i lied this is the largest of them all and it's not that big so i think i will be using it it's not that big and i love i love them they are quite heavy so there is fat and then there is this one the sizes are big but not too big and i love i love it this one will be perfect for stews by the way if we are to cook in this video this one i will make still in this one so there is that one and then finally finally there is this one this one is a pan this one is a pan so i have another pan and i love it i love it you guys i love the handle and i just love the white color so and that is that there is nothing else there is nothing else you guys this one is the lead for the other soup here so let me show you all of them now he's going to clean all of this so there is this so this is it i love the fact that even the pan comes with a lid love it and this is the saucepan and then these are the placements and then these are the three pots i don't know why i was reading five was it five there are three pots and then there is a saucepan and there is this pan and i love it i love it you guys i love it i love it these are sufrias that you can comfortably serve with actually and use them as dishes so pretty so pretty so pretty i love it i love it i love the color i love the handles i love everything about these pans these pans these pots sorry so that is that i think i will make a dinner with you can't wait so i will just clean this off camera i'm going to clean them off camera and then we will make dinner i am sorry i realized that i didn't show the, you the ingredients i think i list them on the description box below but for now let's get started in a pan i have added like three tablespoons of oil and then i'm starting with my stew and then i will add meat i will add my meat my meat is one kg by the way and then i will stir my meat i want to leave this for some minutes after stirring so that the meat can dry up and leave the oil so that is exactly what i will do so i will cover it up for like 10 minutes 10 minutes should do until it stops being red i want it to dry up a little bit and leave the oil for like 10 minutes and then i will be back so i said that we would give it 10 minutes this is 10 minutes later but as you can see it still has some water and i want it to completely dry up i want all this water to go and remain with oil only so i'm going to give it another maybe 10 minutes let me give it another 10 minutes and then i will be back i don't want any water in it and it has quite a lot so i'll give it another 10 minutes a couple of minutes later and this is what we have as you can see i am only remaining with oil and that is what i wanted i didn't want any water i went i wanted oil only 
So at this point, I'm going to add my onions. I used one big onion and I used white. I love using white onions in my meat dishes, but also it's the only one that I had, so you can use red if that is what you have. Of course, I'm going to give it a mix and I will cover it up until the onions wilt a little bit. So I'm going to give it like five minutes, wait for the onions to wilt. I don't want them looking this fresh. So I will cover it, wait for it to wilt, and then I will be right back. This is minutes later, and as you can see, the onions are almost invisible. So this is what I was looking for. As you can see, wilted and they have started turning golden brown so we are ready to go at this point i'm going to add in my garlic and remember that you haven't added any salt in our food so i am also going to add salt and i am also going to add a beef cube at this point you can add a maggi cube if you have one i don't so I am adding a bit here. Of course, give it a star. And I love how well cooked this meat will be at the end of the video, you guys will see. And then I will also add in my tomatoes. I didn't use a lot. I chopped one. So I'm going to add that. And I am also going to add in my pepper. I used one yellow one. You can use a red one or a green one if you, that is what you have. And then, before I add in the rest of my spices, because I have only added a beef cube, I will cover this up, wait for the whole holes to be ready, like to cook, and then I will be back to add in the rest of my ingredients. Minutes later and our peppers are cooked and also our tomatoes. So I'm going to go in with my spices. I'm starting with coriander. A teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of paprika. I love, I love paprika because of the color. <laughs> nothing else and then for the mixed spices a teaspoon and then i love using this in my meat dishes i'm unable to pronounce this is it habrio or whatever i think it stems from herb so it must be habrio and i will add half a teaspoon of that i am adding half because I find it to have a little bit of salt, so if I add a lot of it, my, my food might become salty. And we don't want that. We don't want that. So, of course, I'm, I'm going to give it a stir. And then... I will go in with my tomato paste. I will add one tablespoon of that. This will do it. Remember, I haven't added a lot of tomatoes because I want I don't want my food to be tangy. You know how tomatoes make food. I don't want that. So this is what we have. And we are not even done yet. This is looking amazing. So I'm going to give it a couple of minutes before I add water into it. Minutes later, and this is how our meat is looking. But I don't consider it completely cooked. So I am going to add in some water. Like that. And then I will cover it actually. I should add some more. I'm going to cover it up and leave it slow cooking as we make our rice. But this 
this i am done with this the only thing that i'm going to do to it is cover it up slow cook it i'm going to put the heat to low and that will be it and then we get started on our rice for the rice i'm going to use approximately two tablespoons of oil and then i will put in my onion this is one small onion of course i will give it a stir of course i will give it a stir and i will wait for the onions to turn golden brown before i add anything else as you can see my onions are completely done so at this point i'm going to add in my carrots one grated carrot and also i'm going to add salt at this point and i will stir and then i will give the carrot some time to wilt down and then i will be right back like two minutes two minutes is enough for the carrots to wilt down this is what i wanted to achieve and now that my carrots are looking like this i will add in my rice i have washed this rice and soaked it for about 20 minutes so i'm going to give everything a stir and then i will go in with my peas i have used half half a cup of peas give it a stir again just to mix everything nicely and then i will go in with these ones mishiri i have used half a cup again give it a stir And I'm hoping that I didn't use a small sufuria. <laughs> I'm hoping that this sufuria will be enough for my rice. Anyway, we will see. I'm hoping it will be. And then at this point, I'm going to add water. I have used one cup of rice, so I am going to use two cups of water. And my water is warm. I wish it was hot, but it's not. But it's... It's warm at least, so I will leave this to cook. Obviously, I will wait until all the water goes down and then I will be back. I'm pretty much done with this as well, so when we are back, everything will be ready, including the meat. Guys, I am back and we are done. This is how our rice is looking. Love it. Love it. I know it's looking nice. Actually, I think I should scoop this with a fork. But because I have already used this, I'll just use this. A fork is better because the rice doesn't break if you use a fork. But I have already used this wooden spoon. This is how our rice is looking. Looking amazing. And then... Our beef stew is ready as well, and that is how it's looking. Kasupu Nation, ah, I got you covered today. I got you covered today. This is how it's looking. I love how thick the soup is because, of course, we slow cooked it, so we were able to achieve that. And that is basically it. But before then, as always, let me plate it for you, and then we will be done with this video. There goes our food looking yummy. This is minutes later. Actually, it's almost an hour later. I have already eaten mine. This is not mine. And it's yummy, you guys. It's yummy. I wish I fluffed the rice using a fork. But of course, it's almost cold. That is why it's looking like that. But it's yummy, you guys. It's very yummy. You should try out the two recipes. And let me know how they turn out for you. But... You will be amazed, you will be amazed. And then, look at those 
forward to you guys the way they are looking right now is the reason why i went with this option because of course rembesha essentials have a variety of pots to select from but this is what i went with because they are cook and serve you can serve with this because they look good they look like pots you can place this on the dining table and they will be looking just as amazing i love them i love them <laughs> my love for these pots can't be quantified in words i'm very glad i went with this option and i might keep talking about them the whole day so give this video a thumbs up comment on the comment section below order your pots from remesha essentials or any other home home thingy that you might want they sell they sell more than kitchen utensils. You can visit their page on Instagram at Rembesha Essentials. I think I will tag them on the description box below. But this portal bought you guys. <laughs> so that is that. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment on the comment section below. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.